Hello everybody and welcome to Beyond Galactic Science. Um, in this episode, I've got my psychedelic glasses on, I'm going to go and visit the asteroid belt. Maybe a few other are, maybe a few others as well. Because basically we've finished most of the technical stuff here, or the processes, but we haven't been to see that much in terms of the different places. But before I start, I want to go and visit the... Um, the factory and what I want to do in here is I want to show you basically what I've done a little bit of changes not much just just a small thing and what I've done I've put this into here like this to feed these triple compressed cobblestone across into this chest here and the idea is all I've got is an extraction node here and a crafting node and all the crafting node is doing let's just make sure I'm gonna do nothing strange is basically crafting those out to double the compressed cobblestone and those are then going into this chest here because this is working nicely now it's not doing too much of any one thing and I also linked the oxygen here into uh, the oxygen production upstairs from the hydrogen production so what if I look at this with the jabber hammer in my hand you can see basically what I've got now is a B space um, link in here and that's actually linked to the one up, up there so this will then be getting let's go back here this will be getting plenty of oxygen and silicon from those two barrels so let's quickly go back up to where we were and have a look at where that is you see I basically sit down here I replace the barrel so we now have this this barrel and that's linked so this one is producing oxygen and hydrogen in fact the hydrogen is actually full so it's not producing any oxygen at the moment see hydrogen is full so we're not actually using this anywhere else and this is linked so wherever that's linked to which is this barrel here there is no there's no output and this is going into here and this is generating well it's full it's got 500 RF, 500,000 RF in here, and it's generating 80 per tick. I could move this barrel down. Actually, that's probably a good idea. Let's do that. Because the tree farm is also using a barrel, but the barrel it's using is linked to the um, to the one in the base. So I'd prefer not to do that. So let's just take that off there. Jump down here, and then go to the farm. Now let's put that into this bag while I'm walking around so we can walk a bit faster normal speed so the farm is at the end of here I think tree farm and it's actually this barrel here so I want to replace this barrel with the other one so let's put come up here and put the other one say down here so let's get that out of the bag in fact I'll get out both in fact right so now I can remove this one and put that over there and then get the other one out put that in here and then we can take the other one back and put that back in the bag like that so we don't get any delays and then we have then we have a supply of hydrogen as well so these are now getting their hydrogen from here I guess it isn't getting taking hydrogen out so look well, that's full so that may be now ticking away let's go and have a look is this yet ticking away I hope it is Oh yes, so we actually are now starting to produce both hydrogen and oxygen. Let's have a quick look inside it. See, it's full of hydrogen at the moment, and that will slowly just disappear as it, and the oxygen will come into here. So we should get a, a much well, we should get an increased rate of um, generation of um, redstone and glowstone and other things which is which are saved. What have we got now 19 stacks. We got plenty anyway, so that's pretty good. 63 diamonds, which is not brilliant 
but that will also increase. So, let's now go to the asteroid belt. I've got with me some stuff. Actually, I should put that away, shouldn't we? Let's do that first of all. So I don't need any of the Jabba stuff. I want that with me because it's a tool, hoppers. And I'll put my helmet back on in a short while. Take my glasses off. Um, yes, let's just put those away in the toolbox here. So I don't need the Jabba and I don't need the tuning fork because I've used that and we put these back over here like this in fact I don't think we need the filter either so we can put the filter straight away in the back up here oh is that configured okay we can uncraft that way so let's go to the asteroid belt now I don't know where we're going to end up the asteroid belt is full of mobs so where do we start? Let's go around here. Um, yes, this is where we need to be, isn't it? Okay. So now we need to get to the, the dimension for. Oops, hold on, I just pressed. Oh, the bag. I should be able to right click that, actually. Why can't I reach it? Oh, yes, let's just make that up so we can see it better. Right click that. Ah, oh, hold on a second. Well, maybe I just need an empty hand. Oh, there we go. I O Europa, Venus, which we've been to. I think Mercury, Mars, ellipse, asteroids. Here we go. I think that's the one we want to be in. So we just check we've got everything we need. So we've got plenty of oxygen in here. Actually, I haven't. I better go and get that other tank, which should be in here. I think. Yes, it's full. So let's just put that into here. I always put the um, the full one in the right hand side just because I like to. So, temporal primer, right, let's click that. Let's click the helmet regulator and then the quantum handbrake here. And let's see what we're going to do. I'll just come slightly a bit more towards this corner so we can see it from here as we as we fly across to the asteroid belt actually you'll see in my minimap I've got a lot of um, cows hopefully they're going to be slowly disappear because there's no more food so that should be okay Right, now we've landed, let's have a look and see. Okay, so we're facing unsafe drops on all sides. Okay, it looks a bit low, so I think we're going to have to move the TARDIS a bit. Uh, this is going to be difficult. But I'm not sure how to do it. I'll tell you what we can do. We can go the other way. Let's not go out of that door. Let's go... Um, it's the, the, if I'm looking at this correctly, the position is minus 13, 1, 176. So the Y is very, very low down. So we're almost at the bottom. So that's not such a good sign. What I'll do, I'll take this charge teleporter here and right click that and start teleportation. And then we've, we're back in the moon base, which is fine. And as we walk along here have I not got it with me oh that's a bad move I haven't got my little charger where have I put that then let's double check I haven't got it in here actually that is a bad move because it also charges up my armor as well and my tools and I don't think I'll have put it in somewhere here so that's it's not really very many places I keep things these days in here It'll be back in the TARDIS. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to teleport our way to the asteroids because I know it's safe there. So let's, let's do that. So the dialing device is the middle one, I think. Yes. So we want to go moon to the asteroids. There we go. And we dial that once. 
I think it's okay, so now we could be able to teleport to that and the green one. So we come out of my little base here, which is actually fairly safe. So what we could do is mine a bit of this out, which I have got in my tool with me, and then we can recall the TARDIS. anyway. Fact. Tell you what we'll do. Where's the? F Where is it? Let's fly up here. This is safe, as you can see. Let's put it in here, the TARDIS uh, landing pad, which I have got with me here. And then we can, from here, we can put in the um, this into the recall mode. There we go, and we recall the TARDIS, and we should. Is that coming in? No, it doesn't say. TARDIS inbound, good. So the TARDIS should land on the TARDIS, uh, on the landing pad, and then we can set that place, and we can then go and visit the rest of the stuff here. So where else go inside? We You jump up quite a lot because of low gravity. That's actually one of the nice things about the galactic planet uh, moons and things let's just double check what have I got in here oh that's a bit of lag right now where have I put that little device some dreadful lag I might have to start and stop the game a bit I would probably be in I must have dumped stuff in the chest tell you what I'll do I'll find that and come back again See you in a few seconds. Right, I found it. It was in that chest. I'd put it away. Anyway, so now, my, um, let's have a look. So now this is fully charged again, which is great. I don't need that on me, but we'll swap the glasses out as well. We don't need the glasses on. And um, we'll go and visit some of these asteroids. Of course, when you're doing this the first time, it's not quite so simple. I see asteroids are flying past there. And all of these little things here are asteroids. So we can just simply fly down and you'll see there are a lot of mobs everywhere. Even on these little tiny weeny blocks. Now you do need to shoot them. Well, put it that way, I need to shoot some of them. Especially especially the evolved um, skeletons. Here's a, that's just an evolved spider. Well, it's no big deal, we can simply walk him. Oops, having said that, he attacked me and I messed it up. I'm not hitting him. Try again. Yeah, that's better. I've still got my magnetis on, that's fine. And you'll see you get different types of asteroids. So here's one. I don't know whether I've been to this one to be honest with you, so let's get our let's get our bow into operation because if we can actually keep track of them. Let's, we'll remove some of these guys before we start. I'll tell you what I haven't got with me. And that was um some torches. Oops, actually, yeah, you don't get much drop with this bow either. I'd let me aim for his head. That's better. Because I'll show you what happens if you get too near these guys here. This one's got an enchanted bow. You get quite a lot of knockback. They're very slow, the bows. As you can see. Oops, missed him because I got him again. Try again. Right. And the rest of these mobs aren't too much of a problem. Just the skeletons, which tend to be a bit awkward. And of course creepers. If they see you. Ah, oh, baby. A baby evolved skeleton. 
It's just not that difficult keeping your Right, that should have just about cleared this place off. And you get plenty of XP in here as well, like tons of it. Let's just I can hear somebody walking towards me. Baby skellies are very uh, baby zombies are very fast, actually all the babies are fast. Oops. Somebody's shooting at me. Right. So what you can then do is you simply just mine down in here so we get this out. And what you find is you get this asteroid rock. And sometimes you go further down. Let's go a bit further down. You'll find other materials as well. So let's have a look. See what we can actually find on this particular asteroid. See what I should have done. I should have put a marker where the where the TARDIS is. But we can always recall the TARDIS. That's no big deal. It's a look like too much of interest. Oh, what have we got there? Aluminium more. Okay, some aluminium more on this particular asteroid. So you basically what you find in different asteroids is different materials. So this one is an asteroid for aluminium. Okay, I'm not going to spend any time mining this to be honest with you, because I get plenty of I've got plenty of aluminium. Let's go and pick another one of these guys. So this skeletons are a bit of a pain. Another one over that. Actually, to be honest with you, I should be able to dodge these guys because they're, they're very slow. See him first, that's a problem. Where's he gone to? Has he fallen off? Okay. He's either fallen off or whatever. So let's sort of take this and shoot one of this creepers up there, for example. Right. Okay, so let's dig into this one, see what we get down in this one. There is actually a better tool for this, and I didn't bring it with me. It's the RR pickaxe. I don't think I've got it in my bag. Let's just double check. Thing in there. Oh, I do have one. An RR pickaxe. Now, with the RR pickaxe, what you can do is you can shift it different modes. So, what have you got at the moment? Single block, three by three, five by five. So you can do five by five block like this. See what we find down here, if anything. Doesn't look like there's going to be anything interesting in this particular one. What have we got down here? Asteroid rock. Asteroid rock. The asteroid rock does actually take damage, so I don't think there's anything interesting in here at all. So let's go to another asteroid and see if we can find... You're supposed to be able to find diamonds and things as well. There's a frozen asteroid. They're not actually that interesting. Let's just make sure we don't have too much trouble from the creeper. That creeper dropped redstone. Now that's interesting. Just bash away down here a bit. This doesn't take any damage. 
Whereas the RR pickets, which we're going to use now, does take damage. And as you can see, it's very effective. Right, my inventory is now full. So I'm going to have to make some space. What can we get rid of? DU bullets is usually one we can have. What else have we got in here? I think it's actually in the other bag. We can get rid of some heads. Oh well. Zombie heads again. Don't really, don't really want the rotting flesh. We should throw it away. What else have we got in here? Tell you what I should do. Because I should really set up some mechanism for getting the stuff back to base. Well, don't see anything over here. But let's go back to the TARDIS if we can find it. Yeah, you're not going to get me, sorry. I think the TARDIS was just quite near the top. Oh, look, there's the world. Here we go. If, and then we're going to save this location and name it. So. I've actually got some name tags already prepared and I was trying to do something actually I'll show you this this is actually an Ender IO name tag and what I wanted to do with the Ender IO name tag was to um, enable these I wonder if I could actually label a chest because it would be really useful if I could see what I've got let's get rid of this stuff to start with so different asteroid rocks disappear I'm not sure where they're going to go to actually let's have a look and get rid of this as well. Probably Galacticraft pan planets, which may be one of these. Yes, there it goes. Well, everything's gone into there. Now, actually, I'm a bit hungry. Let's just have a quick bite to eat. What? Well, what's traveling around in the asteroids is hungry work. And let's put some of this stuff away that I don't want. Actually, I don't want these. I think those actually go into the Ender, Ender IO chest. Let's just see. Get rid of the food as well. We don't need the spider eye. String and redstone. Right, that's clear that inventory in nicely away. So we'll look. Yes. And Ender IO is in here. So what I was trying to do was to name this chest Ender IO. So when I looked at it, I could see what it was because I'm always forgetting where this chest is. Never mind. So right name tag let's go and rename this tag we need an anvil for that don't we so let's say this one is now i'll put it in here and it should say ender io that's no use so i'll call it um, asteroid okay enchanting costs nine oh, never mind probably because it was already enchanted so now Let's have a look what we've got on here. So we've got Moon Base, Venus Base, Mars Base should be. Slow shots, we'll save it into this one here. So first we're going to save mode. Current location, I think. And here. And then we label this one Asteroids. And that should now be labeled. Let's put that back in here. Not working. Why is that not clicking? I'm missing. Ah, oh, yes, there you are. So, next place. Let's see if this all changes when we go back. That didn't seem to have saved anything. Maybe it didn't work. Let's try that again. Current location, save. Can't reach this one very easily. Come on. There we go. So let's just double check that now. Moon base, yes. So that should then tell me which dimensions on here. Asteroids, fantastic. I think that's how it works. If we press that button, we'll just check that. It should say moon base, yes. So <clears throat> I think that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this. Next time we're going to go and visit 
a few more bases, but we could have another quick look outside. Let's have a quick look at that um, asteroid we've got outside there, the, the icy one. In fact, let's put a, a place here. Let's put a marker because I've installed um, journey map. So let's say it's control. It's B, isn't it, for journey map? So let's say asteroid and give it a sort of a nice greeny type marker. That'll do, I think. Save that. Get out of the marker. Let's go and visit this one over here. All these are little tiny. You don't want to be hit by these, I believe. And there is something, another way to travel in. I actually have been on this one, look. See, it's got a big hole in it. I'm not sure I've found anything in here. Right, it's probably easier. I just found ice and some rock by the looks of it, and I've just about reached the bottom of this one. So let's just travel around a bit, little bit more. See if we can see anything that's unusual or interesting. That one I've also done. Another icy one here. Now this has got glowstone in it. I've been here as well before, you can see. And in fact, let's have a look inside here. I actually lit this one up. It turns out to be a garden type asteroid. So it's got grass and it's got dirt inside it. What do you got over here? A lot of mobs. I think it's time to do a few bit of grinding here. Let's do sort out these guys. So if I can do it a bit faster than all. Chicken, I can hear a chicken. Look, there is a chicken there, look. How on the earth a chicken got here? Get rid of him. Bit chaotic this. I probably shouldn't have killed that one because the spider was shooting that spider, wasn't he? Suddenly we have silence. That's interesting. Right, well, we're in here. Plenty of mobs still coming down, of course. Wait for them to come down. Right, good. Oops. Ha! Well, let's just sort out. I'm going to have to sort out these skellies, aren't we? That was lag. Oops, do you know what I should have done? I really should have done something else first. Let's go see, anyway, that's basically the lot done, isn't it? Ain't too many around here now. There's a few skillies over there, one over there, and one over there. Any more about? Lots of XP. Right, good. No, I did get him, that's not bad. Let's take a bit, do a bit of digging, see if we find anything interesting down here. Because I know we do find other interesting ores in these places. And not just rock. I believe you can actually find diamonds. But I haven't found any diamond ore yet. Well, not that there's much in here today. Let's see if we can go through the bottom. And then we'll call it a day, I think. It really isn't. And I've actually already filled up my inventory. Okay. Let's put that into there. 
I got some more pizzas. And TARDIS. I'll tell you what we'll do. I don't think I can transport my way to the TARDIS. Because I think I'm too far away. Yes. I can recall the TARDIS. That might be easy, actually. Let's recall the TARDIS. And wait for the TARDIS to come. Oop! <laughs> Landed on me. Right, okay, good. So, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's about 30 minutes. So, and next time we'll go and do some more of the planets. The asteroids are good fun, but a bit dangerous to start with. But of course, I've got pretty good armour, so that makes no problem for me. So, bye for now.